Hey everyone, welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kevin Flight. And I'm Caroline Lunny. And we are here with the man, the, the myth, myth, the, the legend, legend, Ken Casey, Dropkick Murphys. We're here at McGreevy's and we're having the best time. So Thanks for coming here. Yeah, I would say it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful bar, restaurant. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your involvement here? After the 2004 World Series, we did the song Tessie. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Fenway Park. On vocals and the bass guitar, team captain number 19, Ken Casey. The kind of glory days of the Red Sox around the turn of the century got unearthed because, um, you know, the, the, the original fan base that used to sing the song Tessie uh, stopped singing it in 1918 when Babe Ruth got traded. The Red Sox went 80, the Red Sox fans went 86 years without ever using that song. We got asked by the Red Sox to do a remake in 2004 and they won. We changed all the lyrics of the original song to be about all the fans and the teams back then and around the turn of the century. So one of the partners here, Pete Nash, uh, made a replica up in Cooperstown. We said, this is so cool. However, it would be so much better in Boston, you know, with working beer tap. So we hatched the plan and uh, we opened it up. What, what is, makes McGreevy so special to you? Like, uh, honestly, like the history that's here and all the sports memorabilia on the wall is some of the coolest that I have ever seen. It's literally, it's like, it's, it's a sports museum in here. Well, I like the fact that it's like it's real, it's historical, it's stuff that has like that matters that you're not going to see in every bar. There's a story behind every picture on the wall. Designing this place was amazing because we tried to make to the best we could a replica of the original bar. Um, so it's just such a cool thing to be involved in. And as far as the atmosphere of the bar, you know, it has that welcoming to everybody. It's been aside from the baseball, you know, with the Dropkick Murphys involvement, you have like tourists come in, and it's kind of like a home base for for us and a lot of the fans that come to town and with all our travels it's nice to be in a hey if you go to you know boston you know tell people to come here and a lot of times i'll come in and i'll see people here that i met on the road or or whatever so it's it's cool to have just have a home like this you know the rumor has it you guys are on your way out to vegas uh tell us what's gonna be happening out there uh yeah our next show is in vegas we're gonna be um the ufc asked us to come out and play a big free outdoor show the night before the Conor McGregor, uh, Jose Aldo fight in, in Vegas. And we're gonna get to go to the fight. And uh, our last show, ironically, was in Vegas a couple weeks ago. We left all the gear out there. And our next show's in Vegas. I wish they were all like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun. We're excited about it. Um, you know, a lot of the UFC guys are in here when they're in Boston and Dana White's always bringing people here. So uh, all the other sports too, the hockey players, the baseball players, um, you know, a lot of the stuff I've got into uh, involved with boxing, Murphy's Boxing that I si uh, started. A lot of the fighters are in here. We have the weigh-ins here. It's, so it's turned into a all-around sports bar, not just baseball, you know. Aside from the Vegas show, what else is happening with the drop kicks? Uh, we're releasing, we're a live in Dublin, a live on St. Patrick's Day from Dublin album. It's going to be out on Palladia uh, coming up, and then we'll put out a CD a afterwards. And uh, we're in the studio, like, mixing those songs right now. And then we're just going to kind of um, enjoy, you know, June and July with a few shows here and there. And then August, we go to Europe for, for about a month, so back to work. Uh, but Europe, uh, Europe's great to the, to the drop kicks, the festivals over there. It's, uh, it's a cool experience to be able to go over and play these massive festivals with all these other bands that you like and are fans of. And, you know, you're standing on the side of the stage watching bands like, you know, the Foo Fighters and all that. And... We're actually playing with the Foo Fighters at Fenway as well. But, you know, when you get to, get to like, be up close on the stage watching all these bands that you, that you'd, you know, that you'd pay to go see, you know, it's, uh, it's very cool, you know. So a lot coming up with the band and boxing-wise. Yeah, well, our next show is at the Quincy Armory uh, in, in Quincy, Mass., 1000 Hancock Street. A great small venue for boxing. You can go to murphysboxing.com for tickets and info. But uh, we have a lot of great fighters over from Ireland, Steve Collins Jr., who is the son of uh, former super middleweight champion Steve Collins, who actually fought across the street at the Heinz Convention Center in his heyday. Uh, so he's bringing his undefeated son over here to fight in America. We have another guy, Niall Kennedy, who's actually a cop over in Ireland. He's a heavyweight. He's a relative of JFK, believe it or not. McGreevy's has a huge uh, 
uh, connection with the Kennedy family. Honey Fitz, who was JFK's grandfather, who was the mayor of Boston. McGreevy's was his watering hole. He was one of the original Royal Rooters, along with guys like John L. Sullivan, the bare knuckle boxing champ, and all the characters from that era. So uh, we got a, a bunch of uh, great uh, top local fighters, some of Ireland's best fighters coming over. Quincy Armory, uh, proceeds benefit the Clatter Fund. Uh, you can't go wrong. McGreevy's, a few pops, get loosened up. Take the red line, don't drive out to Quincy, uh, the Quincy Army. I'll give you a ride. Come in here and I'll drive you out there. Well, hey, thanks to Ken Casey for joining us. And, of course, thanks to everyone here at McGreevy's. They've been such wonderful hosts. And we got to wrap things up. Yeah, I mean, we've had... Uh, Do we have to go? I don't, I don't think so. I think we should just <laughs> we do We have that. to go. Well, we don't have to go, but the camera's <laughs> going to turn off. <laughs> All right, we'll let you guys go. And uh, what do we say here? The weekend may be over. Yeah, but the party never ends on Dirty Water TV. Catch you all next watching. time.